Yo ho ho! What's going on, guys? This is Grim Reaper bringing you another session of One Punch Man. Today we're on chapter 119. The greatness continues, and let's see what spirals out. Last time, Drive Night came out on top. Um, we're still waiting on Genos. Child's walking around. Saitama's running around with Flashy. You don't know what Dark Shine's gonna do. Genos, like I said, is still watching this. We, we, we need, we need, we need a pivotal, like, deciding factor to let us know what direction the arts are going. Because right now, we're at a standstill. Things are going to develop still, but they're, they're right on the verge. Let's see what's up. All right, we'll be reading on uh, Manga Dex. Uh, link below in the description. Also, remember to check out the Discord um, if you want to discuss with us the chapter after the review. Or, excuse me, after the live reaction. Oh, Christmas. Or, uh, excuse me, Halloween. Trick or treat. Esper Witch versus Strongest Ghost. Ghost? Is that in reference to the cover page of the chapter? What? Do you have a problem? <laughs> no, that's Itama. Right. Chapter title, A Glimpse Behind the Scenes. What the fuck? Alright. Here we go. Shout out to uh, Vib and HDX. Facts. Alright. Here we go. Top of the name. Alright. Top of the first page. Whoa! Whoa. Amazing! It's defeated. It's finally defeated. Wow. That's great. <laughs> Second guard look like <laughs> look exhausted, man. That's great. Even a monster cadre is no match against the S class. That's an incorrect view of the situation. It was very strong. <laughs> and inflicting a fatal wound using a frontal attack would be extremely difficult. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Facts, tell him, dude. Hell yeah. Damn. Is he carrying that shit or is it sitting on the ground? He's like, um, his fucking box. Yeah, you know, I'm sitting there dead, dead, bro. Alright, time for the next page. It is weird that, like, we're immediately. Well, let me, let's just keep reading. Because there, he may be alive. I don't know. Time for the next page. First of all, the enemy was overconfident and reckless. In addition, I collected the enemy's battle data beforehand. I was able to gain the upper hand in battle due to these conditions. The enemy's data? <clears throat> That's right. <laughs> we posted up, man. Sitting there like Spider-Man and shit, bro. Yo, Dry Knight look cool, bro. Okay, that's how. He was looking at him and shit when he did that, when he was just walking around. Damn, that was all. So we were speculating that he must have gotten it because he was G5, but this is saying differently. This is confirming that that isn't the case. He saw him just now. So, huh. Let's see, man. Is that theory here? I was able to observe their battle for a period of time. Yeah, <laughs> they just get bodied, bro. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Top of the next page. No way. Why didn't you join in earlier? You could have reduced the team's casualties. The situation could have worsened if the enemy could not be thoroughly defeated due to insufficient analysis. Yeah. That is the way, or that is my way of fighting. <laughs> One or two niggas die, so I can't so get them in and shit. Damn, them niggas got fucking body. Are the niggas dead? No, I don't think they're dead. In order to improve the probability of victory, everything that can be exploited must be exploited. And they can say casualties, though, like. <laughs> well, you do have a point. Here's one other thing. We haven't been able to contact you until now. What happened exactly? Oh shit. <laughs> Answering. Here it is. Communication has been cut off ever since you went ahead with your infiltration. Two days ago. We thought you had been killed. 
Time for the next page. There are too many inexplicable things surrounding Drive Knight's actions. Child Emperor also worries about the possible existence of a male, of a mole. I think the second guy mentions it over there. <laughs> Drive out here with the facts, bitch! I walk out of this influence. Yep. I mean, cause it, cause him going in there really, there isn't like he could have really just been gathering data for the association, just like he said he was, or just like he's probably about to present to us. I think that's what it is. But by the way, um, take this, crop it, and that's gonna be our new facts meme. Right? <laughs> right here, facts. <laughs> the panels and shit. Right here, panels, facts. <laughs> yeah, references. Yeah, quotes. Yeah, all that shit. <laughs> Going behind enemy lines to collect information. Like I just said, this is my way of fighting. Yo. Damn, he been knew where Wagama was. Yo, he got info on Fuhrer, on Neon, some more niggas, but that shit covered. Who else he had info on? Damn, the complexities of the fucking, uh, of the fucking association and shit. D1115? D1113F? So the shit has to be like. Because if. This is when he was in the association. That's why the, the markers are like that. Because Wagunma is outside. So. That's where he was. And if that's where he was, and we're getting the floors of like 119 all the way to 113 and shit. And then we saw the, the Child Emperor fight with Brave Giant and shit like that. Like, they were running around, and then like, the the fist strike, like, sent them down a bunch, like several floors. So I'm pretty sure that's 200 floors, at least. Because the child, because well, Gunma and Child Emperor were walking upward after he found him, but like it wasn't like, like it wasn't that far that they went. Like they went back and encountered uh, Phoenix's body. So, all right, time for the next game. Second guy, <laughs> are those? Oh, here it is. Oh shit! Bug God, Giro Giro. Black sperm, nigga. Oh, these. <laughs> nigga, that shit right, dude. Yo, we low key might have to take these as templates for the podcast, bro. Cause these shits work really, really well. Yo, please color this for me. Color that so we can use that on the podcast. That's badass as fuck, dog. Monsters that are disaster level demon and above, as well as the name character, or human, as well as the name characteristics and battle styles of the dragon level monsters they call Kanadic. Okay, okay. So, mo oh, these monsters that are disaster level demon and above, as well as the name characteristics. And battle styles of the dragon level monsters they call Kaidas. Yeah. This nigga did a bunch of monsters and now we for the boys, man. Oh shit. Had to interrogate a few monsters to obtain this information. So it took a while. Oh, this information. I had hoped to relay this information to the other hero before they made it die. But I didn't want to risk this information falling into the hands of a traitor. So I didn't contact him. A traitor? Do you know something? Time to the next day. Yo! Everybody getting that badass head like that, bro. Before we get to that, I have a question. What's the current situation regarding the heroes? <laughs> Yo, 
Well, not to push you to dead, but it's feel like a reverie chapter in One Piece, bitch. Hold on. It, it seemed like with the chapter title, a glitch behind the scenes, and this nigga dropping this at the top of this page right here, and we about to go see what everybody doing, nigga. So let's go see what everybody doing, bro. Facts. Let's ride, dog. Okay. So I'm like, yo, these panels of like the destroyed Z City around the um uh around the fucking Monster Association lair entrance. Nigga, that should look badass, but there's been like two or three of them this chapter. I see. So in addition to Metal Bad, Tank Top Master, Capable Hero Association members in A class and below have all become incapacitated as a result of battling monsters and the hero hunt. Damn, some more strong niggas are fucking done. So that's the case, which means right now. Bro, don't tell me you want to attack the association. You was driving at a traitor, bro? You was driving right about to attack the hero association, bro? Ain't nobody there, bro? Ain't nobody gonna stop it, man. Yo, and then Gino's gonna come through the fight drive night, bro. Because he always misses my nigga. Yo, the next page about to be everything, dog. Bro, the next page, my nigga, all right, I'm predicting it right now, man. It may be wrong as fuck, but Drive Knight about to turn on these niggas. He's about to go attack the Hero Association headquarters because ain't nobody there and shit. And then fucking, somebody's got to stop that nigga. Somebody's got to stop that nigga, bro. The organization cannot have their way, man. Do you just want to come through? God, beats a lot here, bro. What is new shit, bro? And fuck over Drive, uh, 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 yeah, Drive Knight, bro. Yeah, well, let's turn this page and see if it's wrong. It's probably wrong, man. Top of the next page. If a new emergency were to develop, no capable hero would, would get to it in time. And the hero association is wide open. What the fuck? Yeah, this nigga looks even as fuck like he's saying that, bro. Bro, what you want to do to him, bro? Yo, what makes you say that? Yo, yo, what's about to happen on this next phase, bro? Yo, yo, top of the next phase, bro. <coughs> Let me confirm. Watchdog man is, answer, is absent from the headquarters. Is that really wise? Even if the monsters took the opportunity to attack, the Association XQ is equipped with Metal Knight's defense systems. After all, the whole facility was built by Metal Knight. Bussy said he was a, he has absolute confidence in, in its vent, in its defense capability against monsters. After all, he did build it. You put your blind trust in it. That alone shows how far you've fallen. Yo, why this nigga look so badass, bro? The entire time I was just dropping shit, bro. What is going on, dog? Top the next page. So the trainer you were referring to is Metal, du Metal Knight, Dr. Before, indeed. Do you have any proof? Bro, Drive Knight is a sucking trait, bro. Top the next page. <laughs> the whole page? What the fuck? The Metal Knight drone he was controlling was destroyed and taken apart in the Monster Association hideout by Orochi. This happened on the eve of the final battle, causing a potential data leak. The timing and place couldn't possibly be worse. Bullfoy can link a large number of his robot weapons into one autonomous unit, capable of communicating battle data to each other in real time, thus improve battle efficiency. Confused here with this dialogue. So, like, is this saying that, like, because it says, before can link a large number of his robot 
weapons into one autonomous unit. That means one unit that doesn't need to be controlled. So he's turning a lot of his robot weapons into one unit that doesn't need to be controlled. Capable of communing ba communicating battle data to each other in real time. It's improving battery efficiency. That's easy, but I don't get what it's... Is it saying that, like, for example, if there's a hundred robots, is it saying that they can, like, sh come, like, link into, like, two robots of 50 each? And then, like, those two robots of 50 each could communicate to each other, like, uh, uh, spreading information efficiently? So, like, if robot A, which is 50 robots... And robot B, which is 50 robots. If robot A is looking that way, and robot B is looking that way, does that mean that they can both see what they're both looking at? That's basically what this is saying. Or, or it's saying that all of his robots, this hundred robots or whatever, are a hundred robots, and the the autonomous unit that can send information is is describing like. That just that, that like the network of communication is the autonomous unit, and they can like spread information across. So that's basically what it's saying. So like, if there's 50 robots in Japan and 50 robots in Africa, that the robots know how to fight, that the Jap that the Japanese robots know how to fight the Africans, as well as the uh, African robots know how to fight the Japanese. And, well, basically, like through experience like that. Basically, communication on both sides. But I don't know which one of those it is. Can he make a mega thing? Is that what they're saying? Because we already saw a mega um, uh, structure Zord bot from both of them. We never really saw a combat capable one. Those were construction bots. So that's the question. Can he? Is he gonna make the Zord that we were talking about or no? Hmm. This chapter, bro. Niggas about to be discussing the fuck out of these bitch, dog. Alright, top of the next page. Among those, Metal Knight, Metal Knight is Bofoy's favorite machine. Among those what? Among those units that can communicate? It's not something he would give away easily. So I'm assuming among these pictures and shit. Yeah, Metal Knight is his favorite one. What does he call the other ones? The weapons in for information. The weapons information it possesses would be a present to the Mob Association. <laughs> Somebody meme that too, man. If they somehow manage to analyze the machine's data, absorb the information, and hack it to his system. The Mars Association would have full control over his robot weapons. Top the next page. Over his robot weapons. Oh shit. That's right there linked. Oh fuck. That's right. Yeah. So A and B. Remember robot A and robot B? Because robot A knows what robot B knows. Uh, in the exactitude, in exactitude, if robot A gets captured by the enemy, that means that robot A knows exactly what robot B knows. Yeah, 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 facts, facts, facts. Damn! So if robot B got laser beams and robot A got lightsabers, now they can get their laser beams again, nigga. Damn, bro, that's tripping, bro. Dead ass drive might was really thinking, but he's fortunate, bro. He's dead ass. He's fortunate, bro. He's fortunate to fuck at that theory about that perception about what's going on now. And it's clear that he's fortunate. Which is why I think it's drive night. But this is definitely a very plausible thing. I just don't think it'll happen. Unless it's G5. Let's let's see, man. Um to the next page damn, so fucking <laughs> In that case, here in that case, Hero Association's defense system and interception weapons would be reduced to unresponsive junk. Yeah. And that's not all. Dr. Before's missile launch codes and his unmanned bomber bombers control passwords 
might have also been leaked. Unmanned bombers control passwords. So yeah, his unmanned bombers, yup. And then the fucking yeah, uh and he's got missile yep, those are the missile loss codes. Uh, I guess these are his other drones or attack forces basically. Have been used to attack the shit. Damn. <laughs> so he got over no mouth. He's just like <laughs> He anticipated all that, but still lost to Oruchi on purpose. So, we talk about dragons and shit, right? Demons, strong ass niggas, people that can do some badass shit. Garo type niggas out there fighting the river. I don't think Garo could launch an assault on the association. Like, maybe, as he's starting to get up there and shit, especially with the, uh, with the uh, whirlwind. But, like, this is a whole different kind of conversation right now. Like, I don't think Genos could do this. Genos couldn't put this type of assault on the association. Like, he couldn't. Like, we have to, like, this is what he can do. This is not, like, some separate shit. Like, just like you consider Genos having guns and shit, not fucking cheating, and Zombie Man having guns, literally not fucking cheating, compared to Metal Bat's bag. Well, I'll evaluate the exact same. Him having this entire army is part of his shit. And sure, a lot of niggas can beat a bunch of his army, probably. But, like, to be able to produce this much firepower? In... The thing is that individually, none of these machines seem, in particular, overpowerful. It's just that together and or organized is where it becomes a problem, obviously. You know, the tactical organization of all these fucking different things, these fucking mobile bots in the ground, the missiles and shit. Fuck, dog. These niggas are fucking... The bombers, they're setting blaze to this shit, dog. Metal Knight. But none of this is, is actually speaking towards, like, the association's ability to actually, um, defend against that shit, though. Because, like, remember, um... Drive by something about that, like, the association's defenses are kaput. And then they're being assaulted with the um, things that are like coming back. God damn, these shits are fucking huge, bitch. Look at the road. Nigga, that the small ass, that car, bitch. Nigga, that car. <laughs> the car is like half of its leg, bitch. These little crab bots are big as fuck, dog. I thought this road was small for some. I, I didn't put that in perspective for some reason. These shits take up more than half the road, bitch. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, let him like send this shit after these niggas, bro. Yeah, he got bots. Fuck, bro. Now we really gonna have to talk about both way. Fuck, dog. No, I didn't think these days gonna come like soon, like this, but like both way, bro. Yo, this nigga. Yo, bro. What? Yo, to be able to threaten to put an assault on the Association Fortress itself, bitch, that you made, nigga, <laughs> like, nigga, like, we low-key gotta be taking, like, the defensive capabilities of his structures and of his creations as his capabilities. Like, I know, I know we're talking about, like, for example, the Metal Knight drone, right? The Metal Knight drone would be something that you would have to evaluate on its own as a battle thing, Right? It'd be like Metal Bat versus the Metal Knight drone. It wouldn't be Metal Bat versus before because he's an old man. So, I'm asking, and I want you guys to talk about it in the comment section or in the Discord. When we talk about Bullfoy, 
if we're going to include all the things that he could do, like all his drones and shit like that, shouldn't we also like take into account his fortress? Like technically, we should, whenever we have a versus, both force should be inside of the strongest fortress that he has ever made, while also being able to control and deploy and strategically, strategically manipulate all the different pieces that he's ever created. That was what the versus match would entail, compared to like Metal Bat, for example. That's basically what it would be. I'll say this. Boros' ship launched a <coughs> a country destroying above dragon assault on uh, a city, a city, clearing that bitch. So I don't like. I don't. I just don't see it, and it's not hasn't been portrayed. And none of that shit. That top to monkey can take out an entire country. Maybe. I just don't see it. I don't see it. So like. And the base tanked that. The old base. The old base tanked that. Now look at this new one. Probably retrofitted with some of the boil ship parts as well. Not to mention. Bofoy himself having that tech. That, that all that stuff right there from salvage from Boros to ship. Which was a fucking tank. It took its own assault. Tatsumaki stopped in a, uh, the second assault wave. I was gonna destroy another country and shit. The same uh, do or like cleaning everything there, but it was the same level of attack. There's another country destroying attack. She stopped and sent it back up. And the ship tanked it like a sandwich. Not to mention continuous, uh, 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 um, more targeted artillery strikes from like the heroes and shit. Tatsumaki in particular, or the niggas throwing shit up over there. And then fucking the Saitama Bros right on top of it the entire time. The entire time. A nigga even went from the moon and landed on that bitch. And that's when I started listening to the ground fighting. So like We're talking about Bofoy being the strongest hero. If we're to literally take into account what he has, the first that we're given, you cannot like there's not niggas that are beating Bofoy. It's not happening. That's a lucky maybe, sure. I'll give her that situationally. You know, if you can find a way to like she can, she can take down all the other weapons that he has pretty quickly. And then it would just be her getting into the fortress, which we know she could do. And then it'd be a conversation. But it would take her time to get into the fortress. And it would all depend on if Bullfoy has offensive drones or offensive capabilities outfitted with uh, Boros' ship's armor. That's the big factor. If he has that, then I'm putting him above Tatsumaki. I'll make that statement. With the moment we see Bullfoy having... Um, inventions retrofitted with both with um, Boros's ship's armor, whether it's offensively or defensively, I'll give him the stat of above Tatsumaki. But until then, uh, the fact that it's even considerable, conceivable, is is nigga. He can he can assault the Hero Association by himself, and the entirety of it will be threatened, or it won't. Because of himself. <laughs> like, like, what? Nigga, like, come on, dude. Like, you do it too much, bro. You do it too much, man. All right. Finally, let's move on to the next page. We're only halfway through the chapter, bro. This shit is like, nigga, boy, boy? Nigga. <laughs> All right. Tell the next page. <clears throat> the goal was to supply those monsters with weapons. Why would he do that? Because he's been waiting for this opportunity. For the instant, for the instant the Hero Association's combat forces are weakened. Because he's a bad guy. <laughs> I think it's stupid! Because he's a bad guy. <laughs> his plan is to keep growing his personal military force and one day take over the world. The Hero Association is nothing more than an obstacle. Only a select few are privileged to this innovation. Hold on. Even though you just said all that, you don't have any actual proof, do you? <laughs> Drive that bitch ass, right? <laughs> Somebody did that shit. He's like, <laughs> it's really what he did. Right? Niggas chill, bro. Like, 
<laughs> believe me, bro. Believe me. <laughs> that shit. <laughs> Have a nice page. Nigga, a brass panel, nigga, what? If the headquarters comes under attack next, do you think the number one ranked blast will make a move? <laughs> nigga! Nigga! Yo, bro! Yo, drive right bringing that hype, man! He talk about Metal Knight for the run through the association and then blast for the go through. You know, the guys, well, I'm trying to see him, bro. I'm here for him, bro. I'm here for him, nigga. Hell yeah, man. What's up, bro? Hell, nigga, and this, this blast silhouette, bro. Thumbnail, my nigga. Thumbnail, man. Alright, top of the next one. Blast? Yo! <laughs> Yo, the drive silhouette, dude! Nigga, they not playing, bro! No, I don't think that's very likely. My understanding is that he is more or less retired. Is that so? In any case, an emergency situation could occur. I need to contact headquarters right now and ask them to, straight to strengthen their security. Bro, what the hell is this? Top of the next page. It took the arm off? Yo! Bro, it's a strike back, bro! Yo, 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 listen, listen. I have not scrolled down, my nigga. I have not scrolled down, bitch. Somebody just took off Shaq King Guard's arm, nigga. Bro, yo! Nigga, it's right here, right here, bro. Look, 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 look. In space time, right now, bro, I don't know who took off fucking Shaq Guard's arm. But I'm full of though, nigga, in the next part of space time, man. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? It's gonna be a transfer right here, bro. What is nigga? All right, drive light. The world for the change. If you if you trade the drive light, the world for the change. Here you go. Here you go. What the fuck? Somebody from behind drive night? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, nigga. Is that G5? <laughs> That robot, did it come from underground too? Nigga, it was a laser, my nigga, it looks fucked up, no arms, bitch. My nigga, is that G- Yo, that's gonna be funny as hell, bro. My nigga, the inception upon inception, bro. Look at how Drive Knight is calmly just looking back at- Did he set this up? Is he doing this on purpose to get the attention away from him, bitch? Is G5 really a pawn of Drive Knight? Can Drive Knight have an autonomous robot from his box bin? Is he controlling that shit but like not really controlling it? Bro. I just inset myself. <laughs> Alright. That robot, did it come from underground? To the next age. <laughs> yeah. I am Machine God D5. It seems like a great scene for me to make an entrance. What the fuck? <laughs> he got fucked up, fucked up. Oh shit, yo, why was this nigga? Yo, niggas must know about the theory, bruh. But I can must know, bruh. Drive Knight. Defeat that too. Clank, Spark. Why are you doing nothing? Why is he just standing there? He didn't just stand there when Niel was around, he just jumped at him. Huh? Time to the next page. What's the matter? Yeah, he is hesitating. Regrettably, I can hardly move anymore. As a result of the dozens of hours of continuous operation and the hard battle I just fought, I have used up almost all my battle energy. Shit, bro. Like, you're a dumbass liar, bitch. This thing is like. So, he doesn't want to bust down G5, so G5 must not be Drive Knight. He must be an ally of the organization. The line of G4 and G5 must continue outside of Drive Knight. Drive Knight must be 
Drive Night must just be like a different prototype of that situation. Instead of like being, ah, oh, bro, nigga. What if Drive Night really telling the truth, bro? Yo, nigga, yo, this is a ploy, though, bro. Cause he's just looking back, and it's like, nah, 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 bro. What's going on, bro? If not, if not, we dead ass low bottom the fuck out of Drive Night. All this high dragon shit. This dick, nigga. This dick. <laughs> I can barely detect any energy signature from you. Trying to confirm the confirmation. You niggas. Damn it. We only had to retreat. Now we're stuck between a, a, a rock and a hard place. Top of the next page. Hey, someone. Isn't there anyone who can still fight? Damn, I'm knocked out. I can confirm that Monster Kagami Mian ha has severely wounded and incapacitated all heroes on the surface. But we can't just leave them here, given their condition. Are you sure you can't get in touch with Blast? <laughs> you should have Blast! Yo, what do you want, bro? Why do you want Blast now? F bro, you fuck with me, dog! Why you fucking with me, bro? You fucking with second guard is fucking with me, bro. Like, I'm not as devil as that pussy ass nigga second guard. What you want, dog? What you be on, bro? Bro, I'm. T Hold on, bro. Let me fix my shit, dog. Bro, I'm. Like, for real, for real. Like, it's just pissing me off, nigga. Like, he keeps saying shit to, like, play with my mind, dog. Like, this nigga has to be evil as fuck. Cause he's doing evil as fuck shit, but why you keep, why are you asking for blast, bro? What you need blast for? What you brought up blast for, for in the first place, bitch? Like what's going on, nigga? But I swear to God, I'm taking your ass to jail, nigga. Asking all these questions and shit. I can't. Only a few association staff members can do that. Plus, my communication device has been damaged. <laughs> he just lost the arm too. <laughs> Time for the next page. Of all the people. Am I the only one left who can still move? Should I try fighting? <laughs> I think you are stupid, man. Only had to retreat. I see. So the hostage ran off recently. I should be able to catch up after I eliminate you. <laughs> oh shit. The enemy's falling apart. Just attack with executive beam. <laughs> I think I can do it. Time for the next page. Did something cut him up? What? Something cut him up. Oh! Did the rest of the cast? Oh, shit! Yo, this shit gotta be... Yo, this shit gotta be a dragon, dude! Nigga! <laughs> yo, if Atomic couldn't cut it with the first Atomic Slash, man... Like, this shit gotta be a dragon, nigga. And G4, or, er, yeah, G4 was like tough as fuck. He was a demon. He got stronger in this, in this smaller form, too, bitch. This nigga look powered up, yo! <laughs> it's not me that tag out here, man. Yo, alright, time to make saves. <laughs> With the speed face off the bat, man. Not even worrying about Drive Knight. Why aren't you attacking Drive Knight? Why are you not attacking Drive Knight? Why are you not attacking Drive Knight? Why did he not attack Drive Knight? There is zero, there is absolutely no reason to not attack Drive Knight. Time the next page. Chapter dog, low key, bro. Top of the next page. <laughs> Yo, Yo! 
Oh! You wouldn't have flipped! Looks like an upgraded version compared to last time. Yo! Yo! Bro! <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, yes! Bro! Shit, top of the thing. Yo, in the post up. <laughs> he got diesel. Bro, he looking like TR7 out there. Bro, just got diesel. He just post up, bro. Yo. Still, it seems I'm upgrading at a faster speed. <laughs> Yo. Nigga. Yo, this so I don't even know what to use the thumbnail. Like, bro, nigga, this shit was godly, bro. Fuck, dog. Oh shit. All right, time for the next page, bro. <coughs> what is the situation here? <laughs> Yo, Genos. <laughs> He's not mad! His eyes there on out! Yo! And you can see the shadow of his of his of fucking off his mask in the front, bro. This is like Oh my gosh! And I guess maybe the statement from 106 could have been about G5 instead of Saitama's punch on over. Just now. Mm. Oh, him recognizing the energy the energy signature. Ah. Nah, but we would have we would have we would we would have had to see him in that chapter. I don't think we saw G five in the chapter with Rover, but fucking over uh, Garel. Check out the review for more, and the podcast comes out in a few days. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Nigga. Shit. Yo!